Good afternoon, a very warm welcome to all uh, joining us today uh, for the technical webinar uh, prepared with regards to the EU South Met matchmaking event that will take place in Frankfur Frankfurt between the 11th and 13th of June uh, uh, this year. Uh, before going to the agenda of our webinar, I will quickly present you the housekeeping rules. This webinar is scheduled to uh, last one hour and will be recorded. Afterwards, it will be published on the European Cluster Collaboration Platform together with all the materials used during the, uh, the webinar. All participants are in listening mode. Please type questions uh, in the Q&A box. Also, please use the chat function. I can see already many of you have started uh, uh, sharing greetings. Uh, please. Uh, Feel free to introduce your organizations. Uh, uh, this is a good opportunity already to see who would be part of the, this EU South Met matchmaking event. And now we will uh, go to the uh, presenting uh, of the agenda of the webinar. So we will start with welcoming remarks by our partners from Anima Investment Network. And then afterwards, we will have the practical aspects on how to fully utilize the B2Match tool to achieve successful meetings. You will hear all about the, how to register on B2Match. Many of you have already started with the registrations, but for some, this may be the first time, so this would be the chance for you to hear what would be the process. There would be the antitrust compliance message, uh, some principles to remember. The next steps, we will also once again uh, remind how to maximize your participation in the frame of the EU South Met matchmaking event. And there will be at the end a question and answers part. My name is Teodora Jilkova. I'm part of the European Cluster Collaboration Platform team. And I'm really happy to welcome today with me, Emmanuel Notary, General Delegate Anima Investment Network, and my colleague Flavio Jorgulesco, the ECP team member. So now I have the pleasure to uh, give the floor to Emmanuel. So Emmanuel, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Teodora. <clears throat> and welcome everyone for this uh, this webinar to prepare a, a, a big event that we are going to have together in, um, in Frankfurt in, uh, in June. Uh, so we are very delighted to have you all, the, the South Mediterranean uh, clusters. Uh, companies and also the, the partners in um, in Europe mobilized by the European Cluster Collaboration Platform. Thank you, Theodora and the team for this collaboration. It's very, really, I think, a fruitful uh, uh, collaboration we are we are paving uh, with the, with this event uh, after the, the one we we've done last year uh, to bring closer the business, the industry, the clusters from Europe and from the south of the Mediterranean. Uh, Basin, I think it's very uh, timely to do so, um, with considering the, the I would say the um, uh, climate issue we are facing, the necessary to bring production closer to the places of consumption. Uh, I think the the Mediterranean, the South Mediterranean Rim is a, is a really good alternative <coughs> to, to provide competitiveness as well as technology as well as quality. To the um, European industry, so it's uh, it's really what we are going to to, to work on together uh, during this uh, this event and and more 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 broader during this project, the European Clusters Forward, uh, uh, which is uh, funding all this initiative. So Anima, um, for which I, I am the general delegate, it's an association <coughs> of business support organizations from Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And basically, our job is to favor economic cooperation, uh, strengthening of economic links between all this uh, area, um, uh, Europe and the African and, and, and Middle East, to engage companies, to engage organizations, to improve the business environment, to improve the services to companies, and uh, ultimately to to bring companies uh, on the track to uh, uh, contribute to um, a decent, sustainable, and uh, inclusive society uh, by, yeah, by, by, by developing, uh, um, by, by, being, by performing in the, in the region. The next slide, please. <clears throat> we are operating under, under this Euromed Clusters Forward project, which is funded by the European Commission uh, with a quite uh, high grant of uh, 7 million euros. 
uh, to develop clusters and collaboration with Europe from Algeria, uh, Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon, Morocco, Palestine, and Tunisia. Um, if you go to the next slide, you will see that uh, this project is operating under three pillars. One pillar is about improving the policies in the, in the South Mediterranean countries to make a, a more conducive environment for clusters and for the industry, especially to, to uh, link the industry from this region to Euro Mediterranean value chains. <clears throat> the second pillar is about capacity building and, and networking. So we organize regularly benchmarking visits, trainings, academy, twinnings uh, with European and South Mediterranean peers. Um, we also have a strong component of um, technical assistance uh, for clusters to, um, to um, make them grow, to make them more sustainable, to make them more, more competitive, to help them to develop more technology and innovation within the, the, their members. And the last component is the one which is interesting us uh, today. It's about connecting businesses, connecting industry, connecting clusters from this Euromed region. And we do that through Tech Days. So Tech Days is EU South Med matchmaking events like we are going to have in, um, in, um, in Akema together. And we also fund collaborative projects, so consortia of clusters who want to activate, develop value chains, uh, Euromed value chains, and we bring grants to them to, to develop these, uh, these uh, linkages uh, through networking, technical assistance, uh, whatever, they, whatever they need. So next slide. <coughs> so we, we operate this program, Anima, as a leader, along with Beritech, in, which is in Lebanon, which is a tech hub in Lebanon, uh, Economic Research Forum, which is a think tank in Cairo, and Leaders International, which is an, an NGO in Palestine, Jordan, and, and Tunisia. And we, we rely as well on, on partners that you may know uh, that operates in the in the clusters and innovation scene in Europe and in the south of the Mediterranean, uh, like Axio, like EBM, and and others uh, uh, from other countries like Malta, Tunisia, uh, also Euromed network like Insme and and, and Fevis. Thank you. Uh, so for for this event, do you want me to to present it? Um, Okay. No. So, so for this uh, this event that we organized together with the European uh, Cluster Collaboration Platform, uh, we expect to have uh, around uh, around uh, fifty companies. Last year, we've done a similar event in Marrakech in in, uh, in Morocco together as well. There were so thirty four clusters and and, and uh, some companies. I think it was uh, quite fruitful in terms of business development, and we are not nurturing these partnerships. Uh, within our European Cluster Forward, with uh, twinnings, with other business events, with uh, the, the collaborative projects, so uh, it was it was the first start of the of the linkages between uh, Europe and, and South Mediterranean. So today we want to be more, even more active and ambitious. I think we have much more participants. We we will reach more than than 50, uh, 50 participants. Um, so hopefully you you make good uh, good good connections at at Akema. And 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 uh, well, probably we we will present Akema, which is a which is a, a, a huge uh, fair and very interesting platform for uh, industrial technology. Thank you, thank you very much, Emmanuel, and uh, you. thank you for this presentation. And also, I would like to thank you and Zoe and your entire team. Uh, it's great that we see you. It's uh, I think uh, there are more people also behind. The, this partnership, uh, thank you for the hard work during the the last months, but not only because, as we just mentioned, uh, there was a very successful event last year uh, in Marrakesh, and if I'm not mistaken, also before COVID in 2019, uh, if I recall uh, correct. Uh, so we we are very happy to see that uh, some of the cluster they are participating. Uh, this would be their second and third time participating, which means that we are seeing uh, really good results from the collaborations that have been uh, initiated, established, and uh, we will have a chance and opportunity to explore that as um, during the testimonial session in the frame of the event. So once again, thank you very much for this uh, very successful and uh, long lasting cooperation. Yes, if you give me the opportunity, because I will be in uh, in Frankfurt uh, along with my team. So next to me is uh, Zoe Luson, who is uh, coordinating this uh, this event and, and more 
broadly all these matchmaking activities and, and business activities uh, under the European cluster. So what? I'm, uh, I'm also with Due Bastit, uh, with... Uh, talk so that people will see you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who will be assisting you during the mission. She's on my left. Uh, and on my right, we'll find Khadija Ben Hayan, and she's also the co communication manager, and she will be uh, doing all the, all the communication at, during the event. Yes, thank you very much. I'm pretty sure that uh, you already know some of the participants obviously the participants from the south met uh, south met participants you are more or less uh, um well you are well aware uh, you already know each other but uh, some of the clusters and the smes that are presenting uh, on the eu side uh, you also have seen each other uh, last year so i i'm really sure that this would be a great opportunity to connect and uh, uh, open doors for uh, more opportunities between uh, European and South Met organizations. So after these uh, words and welcoming remarks, uh, we will now progress uh, with uh, one of the key aspects for today to go through the um, technical um, information which is related to B2 Match. So if we can go on the next slides and progress with the uh, technical uh, uh, aspects, Flavio, uh, a real pleasure. I'm giving you the floor to you. So please present uh, the bit too much. Thank you. Hello, everybody, and thank you, Teodora. Uh, my name is Flavio Orgulescu, and I'm also part of the ACCP events team. I would also like to welcome you to this technical webinar as well to the event that will take place in Frankfurt. We are all together looking forward for a successful event for you and also in preparation for that We'd like now to go through the main tool that will support the event, which is the B2Match platform. It's important for you to know that the registration for the event as well, the setting of the meetings for the matchmaking will both be done via the B2Match. So it's vital to understand the platform and how to use it to its ease. So let's dive in. I will try to be as clear and concise as possible. One of the first things that you need, you need to get familiar with is the agenda of the event. This will help you to know the flow of the event and to know what is happening, where and at what time. So please take a look and be mindful of the agenda at all times. Download it, print it if necessary, and be present at the sessions since this is mandatory. Once you are registered in the platform, um, you can find the agenda in several places on the B2Match. In the top right corner, you can access your personal agenda with the sessions you booked and the meetings that you will have. Going on the left, a bit lower in the menu, you can find the agenda with the general blocks of the activities sorted by color codes. For example, fair sessions, matchmaking sessions, site visits, breaks, etc. And going now a bit lower on the right, there you will, you will find the link to the most detailed agenda. It's a PDF where you will find the agenda with all the details needed. Starting the registrations with the next slide, uh, we'd like to discuss the registration for the event. I think you already have the registration link by now. We will also put it in the chat box for you. During the registration, among some general details like your name, contacts, the organization you are representing and so on, you will be prompted to select your location, Europe, South Med, or other international participants. This is important for two reasons. First, this filter can be used in setting up the meetings and to identify the area of your partner you are looking for. For example, Europeans that are looking for South Med uh, partners or vice versa. And also, the registration questions will, will vary depending on the type and location of your organization. So it's important to select from the start the appropriate uh, option for your organization. In the next slide, you will see another thing that you will be prompted during the registration. This is the pitching session. You will be asked whether you are interested in the pitching session. This will be a good opportunity for you to better present yourself, your organization during the event. You will get five to 10 minutes to present to the audience what you can offer, what your, what your organization is offering. So 
Please keep in mind that due to time constraints, the pitching will undergo a screening process, and if accepted, you will be informed in due time so you can prepare. But we'll try to accommodate as many pitches as we can. If you are interested and we strongly encourage you to pitch, please select yes in this section and briefly describe what you will present. Another aspect that uh, will be asked during the registration is what site visit you will like to take part in. The site visits will take place in the second day of the event, the 12th of June, at the same time. So we'd like to stress that you can participate in only one site visit. As you can see, you have three options. We have track A, which will be a visit to the Frankfurt Innovation Center for Biotechnology, a site visit suitable for organizations in biotech and pharma. Those in track B will visit the Center for Sustainability in the Industry at the Hearst Industrial Park, a site visit suitable for energy or manufacturing organizations. And track C will feature a visit to the Digital Centrum Darmstadt at the Process Learning Factory suitable for organizations in the digital and ICT sector. So please choose your site visits based on your interest and keep in mind that the places are limited. So the applications will be screened and you need to wait for the confirmation after you register. One last thing to discuss in the registration process. Please make sure that in addition to the sessions and the activities that you'd like to participate in, you check the box with the matchmaking sessions. If you don't select this, you will not be able to select or to participate in any meeting. So it's important to check it, since this will open later the matchmaking tab for you. We noticed we, we included this because we noticed already that several people registered for the matchmaking event, but they did not check this in the registration process. So they will not be able to select meetings. So please make sure that you check the matchmaking sessions. So once you finish the registration, this will be likely the dashboard that you will see. This is a colleague of ours that was registered for the sake of, uh, for the sake of example. At this point, the B2Match platform, and not just the platform, but we also invite you to create an opportunity. An opportunity meaning an offer or a request, something to demand or something that you offer. It's clear that uh, you're participating in a matchmaking event because you are willing to offer something or you are interested in requesting something. So once you click on the creating opportunities, the next menu, the next menu will appear and you will get several types of offers and demands. For example, you may wish to sell or buy a product or a service. You may be interested in developing something in partnership with another organization in the South Med region for Europeans or vice versa. You may be looking for a project cooperation. Perhaps you are looking for investment opportunities or you seek investors yourself. Or maybe you are searching or offering know-how, expertise and so on. However, if you are offering or requesting something that does not fit any of the six predefined categories, um, you have, of course, the last option where you can request an offer for something which is very specific. Once you create an opportunity, and if you go up in the next menu, you will find the marketplace. The marketplace is the place where all created opportunities by all participants will be published, including yours, if you decide to do so. However, access to this section is open to everyone, regardless if you decide to publish an opportunity or not, you will have access to this section and you will see the opportunities published. Uh, for now, if we go to the next slide, we see that for this event, there are no uh, published opportunities. But uh, if we are going uh, again to the next slide, this is a picture from another event and how the section will look like. Scrolling through the opportunity sections will allow you to book meetings if any of the products, services, or expertise that are displayed there is of interest to you. So going to the marketplace is one way to request meetings. You scroll to the marketplace, you find an offer or a request that you can meet, then you uh, request a meeting with that, uh, with that person. The second option to book meetings is to access the participants menu, where you will find all the participants and their organizations registered for the event. 
for the for example now we have an extract for the current event with people that are already registered similar with the marketplace you can scroll through the through the participants section and ask for meeting with people and organizations that are relevant for you so if we go to the next slide once uh, Booking, so just to be clear, booking meetings can be either done via the marketplace based on offers and requests or via the participant sections. Once you book meetings, you need to check your meetings. This is the meeting sections. For now, for this event, it's empty, but in the menu, you will find all the meetings for the entire event and also your personal agenda with the meetings you set up for yourself. Please note that the meetings that count are the accepted ones. So it's very important that when requesting a meeting, the person, the counterpart for your meeting, it accepts that meeting. And only then, this is a scheduled meeting. And also this works vice versa. For the meeting requests you are receiving, if someone is sending you a meeting request, that is not a scheduled meeting. You need to accept, and that meetings become scheduled. Otherwise, all meetings that are not accepted will only remain pending meetings in, and will not be scheduled. This is very important since it's a dynamic process. For you, it's important to visit regularly the platform, to check your meeting requests, accept if maybe there are any pending check, if there are many pending uh, meetings. You also check for new participants. You check for new opportunities that are listed in the, in the marketplace and so on. So it's important that you check regularly the platform and you make sure that the meeting requests that you are receiving, you accept them. In the similar way, when you request a meeting, you expect that the counterpart is validating the meeting. So this works both way. Also, if a meeting presents no interest to you, you also have the option to cancel a meeting. This way you can book only relevant meetings to you. And the next slide, once you start to have meetings, this is the dashboard that you will get with the date, the time, and the table schedule for your meeting. It's important that you have the agenda of the meetings at the day of the event with you to make sure that you know what meeting you have, at what table, at what time. Of course, uh, no, uh, also the, the, the slide, of course, uh, this, is common, uh, this is common sense. Please attend the scheduled meetings as your counterpart will expect for you. The time slot for each meeting will be 20 minutes. Also, you may bring guests to the meeting. If, for example, someone from your organization is relevant for the purpose of that meeting, or maybe if both counterparts of the, of the meeting find a third party interested in the scope of the meeting, they have the options to join. Here, there on the green, you have the option to invite a guest for the meeting. Also, you have the option to reschedule a meeting if the time is not uh, suitable for you anymore. So these are all features that you will find in the meeting tab. The next slide presents one of the last features of B2Match that we like to discuss is the conversation menu. Here you can send and receive messages from all participants in the event. Um, a common example is that maybe when you send a meeting request, you also send a short message to the other person explaining a bit more about you, about yourself, about the scope of the meeting, about your organization, this in helping them to better understand what we expect from the meeting. So this also will help you to screen in which meetings are more relevant to you and which not, because the, the meetings time will be limited. And if you receive a large number of meeting requests, by talking to the other person, you can sort the priority for your meetings. It's important to stress that all conversation here are confidential. They are not available to any party. So we can use this section if necessary. A very important aspect for us in the next slide is that after the event, you will receive a debriefing survey, which some of you already know, especially the European participants. This is very, very, very important to us. Um, also for the European participants, this is, a man this is mandatory in order to get reimbursed. So 
As usually, we kindly, take, we kindly ask you to take your time in providing quality answers, not only short answers, as this survey lays the foundation for the improvement of the ACCP services we are offering. And this is the way we also identify the success of the event in terms of cooperation cases. We will stress this to you with multiple occasions from now on, but please keep in mind that this is important to us and to our services in the future. One last thing, and this is a, this is a general reminder to you, of course, it's up to you what you wish to discuss in your meetings. So uh, this is up to you. The meetings will be confidential. There will be enough space in the room between the tables, so privacy of the meetings will be ensured. But we need to advise you to be attentive on what you are disclosing in the bilateral talks to your counterpart. Commercial secrets, for example, or other things important to your organization. Again. This is, of course, entirely up to you, and you are responsible for this. But this was a friendly reminder regarding this uh, regarding this topic. So now you only have to you only have to register to create opportunities. If we go to the next steps uh, slide, you have to register to create opportunities to be as specific as you can to create a quality profile to request relevant meetings and get ready for the event. Again, I'm stressing to you that checking the platform regularly until the day of the event is the key to success. You need to check the status of our meetings and make sure that on the day of the event, you have your meetings agenda with you. A simple way to, to do this is to download the B2Match app and you will have in real time the updated agenda of your meetings. This way you know at what table and what time are your meetings scheduled? So we wish you a successful event and uh, we encourage you now to start registering on the B2Match platform. Thank you. Theodora, over to you. Thank you very much, uh, Flavio, for providing this information. Uh, once again, I would like to repeat that as a follow up um, uh, to all that you are participating today, we will send uh, the re link to of the recording of this. Um, uh, meeting this webinar as well as the PowerPoint presentation so you can have really like a step by step you can hear it you can uh, view uh, the presentation also if you have some questions uh, please don't hesitate to come back to us uh, via email we will support you uh, thank you also to the colleagues from Anima I see that you have posted uh, already responding to some questions uh, uh, in the chat box. Also, we are, will be reviewing uh, in a couple of minutes all the questions that have been posted in the Q&A uh, box as well as the chat box, so we can be as much as possible helpful at this stage to you. I will very quickly go uh, though, uh, through um, the overall um, uh, program of the, the mission of the uh, EU SouthMed matchmaking event. Uh, to highlight some key aspects, some of you already heard them uh, during the previous webinar. Uh, some of you are well aware of the program, uh, already checking the and having uh, with them uh, the latest PDF. But I would like to stress uh, some important aspects. So if we can go on the next slide. So this is how it looks this uh, very busy week uh, uh, in Frankfurt. As you know, the event is um, uh, taking place in the frame of uh, also it's connected to AHEMA, which is one very uh, big event. Uh, um, so this is uh, so the AHEMA event itself. It's running from Monday, the 10th of June, till uh, the end of uh, Friday, the 14th of June. Um, you will see some of the highlights, which is kind of in the middle of the days. This is pharma, digital, green, uh, process. These are the highlights. We put them here. These are the highlights of the key day uh, of the key highlights of uh, AHEMA uh, for the each specific day. Our event, our mission is on the 11th, 12th, and 13th of June. On the 11th, the main venue and the place we will be taking all activities will be taking outside of AHEMA. We have picked up a venue and a hotel, which is a preferred hotel, and majority of you have, this has been communicated. You are aware if some of you have, haven't booked their 
accommodation. We managed to secure a couple of more rooms in a hotel which is located in Darmstadt, uh, where the actual event, our event day will take place. We will start with testimonials. We, you heard about pitching session. There will be the networking lunch, and then we will start with the uh, B2B meetings. It is, um, I've seen a question earlier about the pitching session. If you haven't, you, you are registered in B2Match, you created the profile and you haven't selected the pitching session. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can go back in your profile and select that option. But even if it's not possible, Flavio, you will correct me if it is possible to uh, change the selection. Please be aware that we will try to accommodate, and this will give be, uh, all clusters participating in the matchmaking um, mission to uh, have to participate in the speeching session. Very quickly, I'll brief you what is what is the format for those that are not aware. During the pitching session, each participant will be given three minutes to present their organization. So over three slides, which is usually the first slide is presenting the organization, members, the scope. Then um, second slide is uh, what you're looking for. And then uh, the, the last slide, what you're offering. You may ask, okay, most of these things you have already um, inserted and uh, presented in the bit too much in the marketplace. Yes, but maybe you missed an organization. Maybe someone have missed to describe exactly what they offer. And we found that during the pitching session, this is a great chance to open opportunities for more ad hoc meetings because you hear an organization that is presenting at the stage, even in the format of three minutes. And this, this is creating a chance to, um, to this encourage you to see that organization during the networking uh, times, coffee breaks, lunch, and to um, seek for their contact or even to speak further and see what you can do jointly. So we will send uh, we will send information about the pitching session. We we really try to accommodate everyone because from the cluster participants because we know how important is uh, um, these activities uh, for further possible collaborate opening for further collaborations. Then a uh, few organizations have already been uh, contacted and. Uh, we see from their activities, uh, they can really have a lot to share of already um, of existing collaborations that have started either in the previous events or even before that. So this is really a good chance to uh, hearing the testimonials, um, you to have the inspiration of and to hear how the process started, how it developed and uh, what are the next uh, plans? So this is for during the first day. Um, then on the second day, uh, we will uh, be at AHEMA. This is something that I would like I will stress afterwards. Please take really a good time to uh, evaluate and to study AHEMA website. As you see, the event is really huge. This is a huge expo. Uh, obviously, it is planned to be for one week. So you need to do your homework. You need to study the program. Um, we will send you the link. Please study the program. Please make a, really a good um, plan for your personal uh, visit at the, at the expo. We are already uh, talking to critical, um, uh, to very important organizations and um, um, participants at the exhibition stands to have to host us at, in the morning where majority of you you will be able to have um, a group presentations they will uh, you, and meetings with um, uh, organizations local organizations and SMEs you will receive a detailed information we are just finalizing those aspects and then um, you will have time to do your meetings. The event Ahema is having their own app. So you need to check what is available as a seminar. So you need to check which stands you would like to offer to visit because you will only have, if you're not planning to extend your stay, 
uh, on Thursday the entire day or Friday, you will only have uh, um, less than one day uh, or more or less one day. So you need to be very precise. You need really to study and you make your home homework where you want to go. Then in the afternoon on uh, 12th of, of June, we have scheduled the side visits. Already Flavio uh, informed that we really need your selection, which uh, side which side visit you would like to um, attend. This is important also for logistical aspects. Also some of the hosts of the visits, they have restrictions uh, for the numbers. So I would we would kindly ask you to complete this by the end of this week, uh, as we are trying to finalize all logistical aspects. Please know that if by any chance we cannot accommodate everyone based on their first choice, we will give an, a second option. But uh, all plannings that we do, it's really to meet your interest based on um, overall uh, participation of uh, the current event. On the third day, uh, after the site visits, there will be uh, we will organize the transportation from the site visits. We will organize the transportation to uh, Darmstadt, to the hotel. And then on Thursday, um, some of you will be in need to check out and go to the uh, HEMA. Uh, maybe some of you will decide to extend their stay. This is, again, very important you to make your plans. I've seen that other questions, whether it's mandatory to be on that day. It is, um, I mean, what is mandatory is to follow the program and to make the best, uh, to take the best out of what we have scheduled. If you have some other plans, I mean, you need to leave a bit early on the last day, please make sure that you have completed the meetings, you attended the site visits, and you attended everything that you wanted to see at the HEMA in this uh, uh, short uh, period. Some of you may would like to stay till Friday because you see uh, uh, what is the um, highlight of the day at the HEMA. So this is how the, the overall week uh, looks like and uh, our program. You will also receive, all of you will receive the, um, a practical booklet where um, uh, which will be issued uh, early next week where once we finalize all meeting points, and uh, information, everything what is related to information that you need to know when uh, and where you need to be during the day. We will have colleagues in the spot to get a journey with uh, Anima. We will be our the colleagues from the ECCP as well from Anima will be guiding you. Um, this is related to the participants from South Met uh, uh, countries as well as uh, from our side uh, from the ECCP. We will be helping and guiding uh, the European participants. So if you can go on the next slide, uh, once again, I would like to remind you to have a look uh, in the PowerPoint presentation that you will receive. Uh, there are all the links. Please check the program of AHEMA. Please check the useful information of, of which is presented on the AHEMA website. Please check all the seminar session and please download the AHEMA app. Uh, for our mission, all delegates that are um, official delegates of uh, the EU South Met matchmaking event. This is um, for the Europeans as well as for the South Met participants. You will also receive the code in order to register for free um, for the um, uh, attending the AHEMA. This will be included in the final emails that we are sending to you as well as in the participant booklet. Uh, in, as there is a... Um, uh, participation fee at the HEMA, but due to our um, partnership with the HEMA uh, for our delegates, we have a special booking code for which we will inform you. So please really take a look at the program as well as download the app, check with whom you would like to meet and which stands to visit because they are play taking place in different um, exhibition halls. So if you can go on the next slide. Yes, so this is uh, more or less, we are approaching the time for the question and answers. I will quickly check the Q&A box, I think of, um, uh, um, yes, yeah, so basically I've answered to the first question to Margarita, uh, uh, and then we have a question about, uh, uh, yes, um, about the number of the matchmaking meetings. So 
uh, for the European uh, participants, the clusters in the, um, I ask, uh, we will ask you once again to check the terms and conditions that were written in the, uh, in the call, uh, what basically it's important for you to fulfill. Uh, with the minimum meetings that we require uh, done during the matchmaking day, which is the first day, uh, there are four meetings. Also, it is extremely important, and as Flavio mentioned, the survey uh, that we will send afterwards, it's very uh, important for us. And we are looking for quality answers. So please, uh, you also hear we have a debriefing session after the matchmaking. We will be looking for quality answers to understand of um, the nature of uh, potential uh, collaboration ca uh, cases uh, that have been initi initiated during uh, these uh, meetings. Uh, I welcome um, questions. Please feel free to ask. Uh, recently, I have. Uh, um, Recently, we have received some uh, some uh, um, questions via email about the this is uh, for the European participants for the clusters for the reimbursement. Uh, there will be again. Please check the uh, the 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 call uh, conditions. Also, um, before uh, the start of the event with the in, within the participants bo booklet, the supporting letter you will have exactly uh, information on what documents and when we would need to receive from you uh, in order to start this process. Uh, colleagues from Anima, if you'd like to say something, because uh, there are some questions coming from the European side, but uh, because we are having some differences in terms of the process afterwards, if you want to address something at the moment, Please use the time. I'll in the meantime check if there are some general questions that we can uh, address and um, uh, answer here. Thank you very much, Teodora. Uh, so far we are aligned and uh, I answered the question about the third day, whether it was mandatory uh, to attend the uh, Akema on the third day. And uh, as far as participants of the Euromed clusters forward, uh, uh, delegation are concerned. Yes, we will need to to get your attendance sheets every day, every single day, uh, in order to be able to reimburse the the costs of your participation. Yes, thank you, Zoe. Also, um, I see that uh, some of you have contacted the hotel and haven't received uh, um, a confirmation back. Uh, for so uh, we already. Tried though this is not, uh, I mean, we've sent the instructions, but uh, we are not directly engaged in the reservation. But uh, we already uh, chased uh, some reservations, so we will uh, support you. Um, please email us to please email your um, uh, request to the hotel to the EU matchmaking email, and we will chase directly with the hotel if you haven't received the uh, confirmation. So if we can, while we are waiting for more questions, if I can ask uh, colleagues, yes. Yeah, so once again, I would like to repeat a couple of aspects, please. First, uh, we will follow up with a link to this um, recording as well as the uh, presentation that have been shared. We will follow up lately tomorrow to all that have participated as well as uh, uh, we know that uh, some of the delegates were not able to attend today uh, due to some other meetings. So we will follow up with all the delegates with uh, all uh, information that uh, we have shared today. Please start creating your matchmaking opportunities. Register to be too much. If you, uh, after following the information uh, received and heard today, if you still feel some um, difficulties, please either contact Anima. Uh, this is uh, with regards to the South Med participants or uh, uh, ECCP. Um, uh, if you're having difficulties to. Uh, create your profiles. Uh, please check the AHEMA website, study the program, make a pre preliminary plan what you would like to visit. Uh, start booking meetings, I mean, for that a little bit too much. Um, and then um, obviously you can also use the app for the, um, uh, for the AHEMA, their app. Uh, 
Flavio mentioned that you can download a bit too much uh, um, app uh, and to have your agenda on the day. Uh, we will also support you, the team that, that is on site. Uh, we will also, they will also support, guide you for the number of the different tables and uh, the schedule. But for you, it would be very handy not to waste time because each meeting lasts 20 minutes and it's better, uh, much better to uh, use this time to not to try to find which table you are and uh, who is your potential meeting and just uh, have handy uh, the agenda. Uh, it is very important for us to have your choices by the end of this week for the site visits because we need to finalize the logistic and prepare all the information which is related to the um, practical participants booklet. Check, please check regularly the emails as well as the bit too much for the communication. In the emails, we will be uh, forwarding you information for the final agenda, participants booklet, but as well as we mentioned instruction for the pitching session and those that will take part in the testimonial session. Uh, so I see that there were asked questions about the transport. Thank you, Anima, for uh, um, for uh, answering. Also, this will be included in the participants booklet. So uh, you will need to take your um, you will uh, make uh, your own way from the airport to the Darmstadt Hotel. If you're staying there uh, for the first day, then we are spending the entire day in da Darmstadt as well as in the evening. On the next day, we will use the public transport. There is a good, uh, it's even much better for using the train, uh, taking uh, less time than a, a bus for the morning to go to a HEMA. Uh, in the afternoon on the second day, when uh, the site visits, we will have uh, a transportation by buses because obviously this is following the schedule of the site visits. And then on the third day, uh, everyone needs to make uh, their way based whether they need to check out, when they are checking out, there would be opportunities to leave the, your staff at the HEMA, make more visits uh, if you're living on that day, flying or traveling by train, uh, make your visits at the HEMA and then continue with your journey back home. Um, I think I covered everything I wanted to say, but please feel free to share more questions. Uh, I don't see more questions in the um, in the boxes. We will send, of course, the bit too much link. We will send you instructions how to register for a HEMA. We will keep updating uh, um, updating the PDF agenda, which is uh, shared um, as well as on the in bit too much and on the ECCP website for any critical changes which we don't expect we will inform everyone uh, via emails but uh, at the moment more or less majority of the aspects are uh, organized and we just need to um, conclude the logistics with regards to the different interest and uh, possibilities uh, from the site visits and i really thank you all for um, being with us today, um, please keep visiting the European Cluster Collaboration Platform, follow us on social media. It was really great that you have already started communicating by uh, presenting uh, uh, your organizations uh, in the chat. This is uh, kind of the first uh, chance uh, everyone to say hello and to know who to expect to see uh, when we are together in um, um, in Darmstadt, yes, we will share the presentation together with the link for the uh, together with the link for this recording. They will be published tomorrow on the European Cluster Collaboration Platform, and we will follow up with the links so you can have it all. And any any maybe any, one last word, if you if you don't mind, uh, yes, Theodora. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, uh, I, I came out as a not so big, but still big event. We have uh, 65,000 uh, uh, attendees, 3,000 uh, exhibitors. So it's uh, it's not a good event to go as a tourist because you can get lost and and waste a lot of time. So I, I recommend we will put the website of Akema uh, uh, in the chat. 
you have the list of exhibitors available uh, uh, in the, on, the, on the website. You can sort by, by business, by uh, host countries, etc. I really recommend that you prepare your visit there uh, because you will have one day and a half uh, on, on location. So if you want to take the most of, out of the event, it's good to target the exhibitors you want to visit, eventually contact them in advance. Uh, because it's uh, yeah, it's a big event and, and one can get lost uh, if uh, if 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 uh, it's not prepared. Thank you. Yes, this is really important. I mean, and uh, it is also the seminar programs because you will have an access to them. Um, you you will spend. I mean, the time that you need to spend to even to study the seminar program. And the different exhibitors, it, it really need to spend and dedicate time. So thank you, Emmanuel, for hi highlighting this. So more or less, we are within the time that we have dedicated to the uh, to this webinar. Once again, thank you, thank you, partners, thank you, Flavio, thank you, Emmanuel, Zoe, all the Anima team. Thank you for. Uh, supporting and jointly organizing uh, this webinar. Thank you to all that have been uh, together with us. And uh, I hope you will have a time. Thank you, Flavio, for presenting the bit too much. We will support the participants if they have more questions. And we are really looking forward to a very successful EU SouthMed matchmaking event.